Hi, my name is Jake Vossenkemper, a Grammy lead with Liquor Girl. Hi, I'm Katie Hess, Seed and Seed Treatment Manager here at Liquor Girl. Jake, last spring you did a study on cold injury with corn, so planting into a wet rain. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about that and can you tell us about cold injury? Yeah, Katie, yeah. So the technical terminology you might hear thrown around uh, in regards to cold injury is inhibitional chilling injury. And as what happens, Katie, is uh, when the the temperature of the water in the soil is somewhere around that you know high 30s to low 40s if that's the first water that that corn sieve imbibes or takes up that can cause cells to rupture okay so whenever corn first takes up water the cells are expanding rapidly you know you can see the corn seed uh, swell up a lot in the first 12 hours or so after you plant it and whenever that water that initial water is very cold it can cause cells to rupture um, it can cause um, uh, it's kind of like making your corn do a polar plunge. Correct, yeah, and, and you, you can get lots of injury that's irreversible. You can get leafing out on the ground. You can get roots and no shoots. Um, there's a lot of uneven stands. You can get a lot of things that are not good for final grain yield, so that's for sure. So if we have really nice weather, it's really hard to stop the planter, knowing that you've got cold, wet rains coming. So what did your studies show? Yeah, Katie, that's absolutely right. It is hard to stop the planter, particularly when you can plant a lot of corn in a day. Okay, so. In these studies, what we did, Katie, is, you know, we, we, this happened in uh, mid-April mid last year in Clear Lake, Iowa. We had about a week stretch. The weather was just beautiful, perfect corn planting weather. The highs were in the 70s, but there was a nasty cold front coming, okay? So it was a perfect opportunity to, to test out the idea, you know, just how far in advance of a cold front do you need to stop planting, right? But you so, mean like when you can't see out the windshield anymore because there's so much dirt and mud well, on it. Well, that would be not the right thing to do okay. according to what I'm about to tell you. <laughs> so the treatments were uh, 48 hours before that cold front, 24 hours before that cold front, and then 12 hours before that cold front. We had two hybrids, one hybrid that had a really good stress emergence rating and one hybrid that had a poor stress emergence rating, okay? So the hybrid with the uh, good stress emergence rating, maximum yield occurred at that 48 hour and 24 hour planting period. But the 12 hours period before that cold front, there was about a five to seven bushel yield reduction. Okay, so definitely yield reduction, but not severe. With the hybrid that had the poor stress emergence, the yields were fairly similar at that 24 and 48 hour planting timing, but there was a little bit more than a 20 bushel yield loss if you planted that hybrid 12 hours before that cold front. So what you're saying is we need to be looking at our stress emergence as we're going into these um, cold, wet rains. Absolutely. Uh, and be watching the forecast. If we're headed into a cold period, this data would suggest you definitely want to stop planting 12 hours before we get that cold front that comes through. Are you planning on doing any studies like this this next year? It's a little bit of an opportuni opportunistic trial, Katie. Uh, if those conditions that we just discussed present itself, absolutely. Uh, see if we get the same results uh, or something a little bit different. But yes, if the opportunity arises, we definitely will. Thanks and have a nice day. Yeah, good luck.